New information from the man whose granddaughter died after she fell from his grip at an open cruise ship window. The grandfather is colorblind, and he says that could have been a factor in his not recognizing that his granddaughter Chloe was at risk. Stephen Fabian has details. I saw her fall the whole way down. The grieving granddad whose granddaughter slipped from his grasp and fell to her death out a cruise ship window is reliving the moment of horror. I saw her fall and it was just a disbelief. I was like, oh my God. 51-year-old Sam Anello held little Chloe up to a window on the Freedom of the Seas cruise ship in Puerto Rico, not realizing it was open. We always, like when you're Whenever we were at a hockey game, we would bang on the glass and it was fun, you know. So. The windows on deck 11 where the tragedy unfolded are tinted. Vanello revealed for the first time to CBS This Morning lead glass. national correspondent David Begno that he is colorblind yeah, no. and that may have played a role. The windows are tinted and so it is pretty easy to recognize that it's open. I am colorblind, so that's been, to me. that's something that... Uh, you are colorblind? I'm colorblind, Dave. I don't know. I just never saw it. I've been told that that's a reason that it might have happened. Could that be true? Ophthalmologists we spoke to said yes. Significant color blindness may have contributed to Sam Anello not realizing the window was open. What was it like being in the room with this grandfather? What was his demeanor like? He sort of seems like a broken man. He walked in broken and numb. He was quiet. I actually had my dog with me. The first thing he did was he asked to hold the dog. And you could tell he was kind of just decompressing. <gasps> You almost have to console him. Can you walk us through what was going on there? He just breaks down. And, and I remember almost instinctively just putting my hand on his leg because it just felt like the human thing to do in that moment. I just remember screaming that I thought there was glass. I thought there was glass. I still say it. To myself. This is the final haunting photo of Chloe taken moments before her fatal fall during a family vacation. Anello has pled not guilty to criminally negligent homicide and faces a three year prison sentence if convicted. But he says the prospect of prison is nothing compared to the pain of losing 19 month old Chloe. They find me guilty of whatever or not, it's inconsequential because of what has already happened is so horrible. Sam Anello is due back in court December 17th in Puerto Rico.